what do you do when you find yourself with a free Saturday afternoon and a pair of FX crowns ready to test? In this video we'll be looking at point of impact shift and velocity changes as we change the power wheel setting from maximum to minimum on the FX crown. Our test rifle is an FX crown in blue laminate featuring the smooth twist X barrel in 25 caliber. Testing was performed on our indoor range at 21 yards. Our test rifle was firing JSB exact King 25 caliber pellets weighing in at 25.39 grains. As adjusted, this crown is shooting an average of 914 feet per second, generating 47 foot-pounds with the JSB 25.39 grain pellets. Over a 15 shot string with the power wheel set to maximum, the spread was only 8 feet per second. Here you see two shots with the power wheel set to maximum. The average velocity for shots on full power is 913 feet per second. Here you see two shots with the power wheel set to 5. Notice there is almost no shift in point of impact. The average velocity for shots on power level 5 is 876 feet per second. Here are two shots on power wheel setting number 4. Notice the slight point of impact shift. The average velocity for two shots on power wheel 4 is 816 feet per second. The next two shots are on power wheel setting 3. The average velocity for two shots on power wheel setting 3 is 757 feet per second. Up next are two shots at power wheel setting number 2. Velocity on power wheel 2 was very consistent at 693.5 feet per second. Nearing the end of our test we see two shots at power level 1. Two shots at power level 1 average 648.5 feet per second. Here are two shots on the minimum power wheel setting. On the minimum power wheel setting we see a very consistent 601 feet per second average. To finish out the target, and empty the magazine, we have two more shots at the maximum power level. As expected, the power wheel on the FX Crown offers an impressive range of adjustments. In this test, we saw over 300 feet per second adjustment ability between the maximum and minimum settings. Not surprisingly, we also saw a shift in point of impact versus point of aim as the power level was reduced. Two final notes on this test. First, all shots were fired with the shroud extended. Second, this test was performed at a 20 yard range. Our expectation is that the shift would be greater as range increases.